Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Well, it is that time of year again where we do our traditional pumpkin carvings. Um, but I took it one step further. I'm actually going to try next year to make the feeble attempt at actually growing some pumpkins just to see how it turns out. Because, like I said, I totally love pumpkins. And if I can get them to grow perfectly, then guess what? I'm going to be doing it on a permanent basis. But in the meantime, as you see right now, the wife is actually scraping out all the pulp and everything out of the inside of the uh, pumpkin. Now, mine is quite simple. It's very close to the 1978 pumpkin prop that you would actually see in uh, Halloween 1978 with Michael Myers. Mine is close to that, but not exactly accurate, as you will see in the markings here. All right. Let me just kind of turn this around so you can see what it looks like. All right. As you can see right there, it's a little different, so when I do actually start carving it out, hopefully I'll get it close to this here. All right. Right there. Okay, that's what she looks like. But the eyes are not 100% accurate, uh, but they're pretty close. So now what I'm going to do is I'll be right back because we're going to turn around and start carving out the eyes and everything. And I'll show you what those look like here in a second. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and as you can clearly see, I've got mine carved out. Though it is not 100% accurate to the 1970 Halloween pumpkin prop, but it's pretty close. Okay, now I will tell you this. Down here, I had to do a little bit of a repair. I can't show you because everything's in the way here. All right. This tooth right here, okay. Uh, I had to run a toothpick up in it because it actually, when I tried to push the mouth out, it actually uh, snapped off the tooth, so I was like, gosh darn it. So what I did is I actually squeezed the toothpick up through it, so it's a good repair for what I needed to do. But anyway, this is what it looks like so far. Now over here, this other pumpkin is definitely a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, my she wife She is still so working on it. Yeah, she's very meticulous about it. But usually when she gets done doing it, it always comes out really cool looking when she's done. But anyway, we'll be back with the final results, and we'll also light them up and show you what they look like in the dark. Okay, bye. Well, bye for now. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We are still continuing to carve the second pumpkin, which is the, uh, the wife is actually trying to uh, carve. Hers is a little bit more meticulous than mine. As you can see, mine is quite simple. Okay, just straight to the point. Hers, on the other hand... It's like a surprise look with ghost hands. You'll see once we get it all finished, we'll give you a light up version. We'll turn the lights out and show you what everything looks like. Okay, in the meantime, we will be right back. Okay. Okay, we are back with the finalized versions of these pumpkins. The wife finally got hers all carved out. In case you want to know what it is, it's more or less a smiley face with ghost hands so it's like a ghost yeah. now this one here is not as lit because of the candle i can see if i got another yeah it's, it's acting kind of funny but anyway eventually I'll, I'll show you this once we get uh darker outside and we're going to put them out on the rails and then i'm going to show you what those look like but in the meantime this one here is a little bit lit so you can see what it looks like all right so i uh, will we'll be back with the finalized version once we go outside, when it gets darker, okay? We'll be back. Okay, we're back. We found another candle that actually works for the one on the left, which is a representation of the 1970 Halloween pumpkin prop. Uh, pretty close to it anyway. Uh, but we finally found a candle that's actually going to work. So what I'll do here is um, once it gets dark outside, we'll show you what it looks like outside. Okay, be right back. Hello and welcome back. This is the last part of this video where we show you the actual porch. 
and the pumpkins all lit up. As y'all notice, I, we do have a bunch of orange light wrapped around the porch itself, and also a nice orange light up there in the light socket, along with a few flags that are based on Halloween in itself. And I also got a creepy zombie that likes to climb the fence, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in a little bit closer and show you everything and what it looks like. There's also smaller flags down inside the uh, planters, okay? The wife likes to uh, put flags in the planters. So anyway, let's just move in here and give you an idea of what these things look like. Especially the pumpkins, because that's the main thing here. Okay, and as you can see, that one there is very cool looking. Just that's the one I carved. No, just kidding. All right. And then over here is the other one. All right. And we got a lot, lots of orange lights. So this here is more or less. I know a lot of you people know what this is. It's don't have a face. You can put it on the side of your house, kind of uh, hook it up there, where it seems like it's climbing. That's what this thing is. Okay. And I think we got this from Lakeside Collections for a few bucks. Can't go wrong with it. We hang it up every year. Okay. Down here we have flags. Okay. If you can see them, that is. It is a little darker out here. Okay. Right. The, the green for one is hard to see. Yeah. Because it's so dark. Yeah. But anyway, that's pretty much it on this entire situation here with the carving pumpkins. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos. In the meantime, each and every one of you have yourselves a happy Halloween. One last thing I want to show you guys before we end this again, and then you can go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, is our Halloween tree. Well, actually, it's more of a holiday tree. We decorate it every single year. With either 4th of July, Memorial Day, Christmas, you name it, that's what we do. It's a tradition here. And I want to show you what's all on this tree here. The wife did decorate this. She does this every year. Now mine is in the other room, and I'm going to show you that next. Okay? Now I know it's probably a little dark and you can't really see everything, but it's got skulls, witches' hats, all right? crazy eyeballs. Okay? Got some Halloween stuff. Skulls and more skulls. Witches hats. See? Witches hats. Okay. Anyway, this is a traditional. Now right here we had a bat on this last year, but this year I decided to switch out and use one of my skulls as part of the uh, tree's theme. Because it has a lot of skulls through it, and that's what it looks like so far. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this off. And then I'm going to go into my room and I'm going to show you my Halloween tree that I decorate. And I leave it up all year round. Alright, we're back. And this is my Halloween tree. Uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of sparkly branches on it, including some black ones. It really does stand out. And it has some spiders as well as some witches' hats. Uh, but it's very Halloween. Sorry. We bought this tree a long time ago. And as you can hear in the background, it's a brand new movie. Uh, it's supposed to be haunted based on ghosts and stuff like that. I'm getting ready to check that out. But anyway, it also has a witch's hat for a topper. And there's the other witch's hat in the back. Okay? But this is my Halloween tree that I do not break down. What I do is around Christmas, I'll take this tree and move it to the other side of the room and bring my tree out, redecorate it for the holidays. But that is my Halloween tree. Again, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I checked the website. Because uh, I will be pushing out some more videos. Again, thank you very much for watching my videos. Oh.